Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C square. In this example here we're gonna look to a problem where what? Uh, it's given that these two segments are parallel segments. They give us some measures and they ask us to find how long AE is, which is this guy, right? And they give us this, uh, this, and this. Okay, so how are we going to do this problem? First of all, we're going to start from this given statement, which tells us DB parallel over AC, which means what? Which means nothing else, that we have some angles that are uh, congruent. Which one? These two are congruent because they are alternate interior angles. When, whenever you have two parallel lines, the alternate interior angles are congruent. But the same thing about these two guys, they are congruent by the same property, alternate interior angles are different transversal. And if you say about these angles, they are congruent because they are vertical, you are correct. But we don't really need three pairs, we don't need only two pairs. This is the theorem, angle-angle similarity theorem. By using this theorem, we know triangle EDB It's similar with triangle EAC. You really need to be careful of this statement. You want to use the corresponding letters. And if you write a corresponding letter here, guess what? Writing the proportion will be a lot easier. Uh, we're going to have what? DE or ED. It's either one is good. Over EA equal EB. over EC. And you notice the corresponding letters uh, is a technique to write this uh, statement. And now let's do the replacement. Uh, if we like, take a look, DE is 31. Uh, AE or EA we need to find out. EB is 22 and uh, EC, it's 55. So we have a simple equation to solve. We're going to use cross multiplication 31 times 55 equals 22 times x. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C squared for more help. Thank you.